We've made it home. We are all so excited. I missed it. We're all so excited. We don't have any food in the refrigerator, but that's okay. We had to leave in kind of a hurry um, to go to Virginia. And so we basically left within a few hours and just kind of left the house in disarray. So like we packed our clothes, we ran out the door and things like the beds didn't get made things didn't get put away. Usually when people leave their homes. What happened to all our food? Honey, we have to go to the store. We couldn't leave a bunch of food in the refrigerator. Um, so I ended up inviting friends over before we left and we left all of our food with friends, but things like the house is just kind of a mess. So we are going to work on getting it tied up, tidied up probably tomorrow. Today, we're just going to go to the grocery store, rest and relax, watch a movie, and, you know, just live a little here. So we're gonna make some food. We've got granola. Yep, we have some food. I wonder if the power went out because there's a lot of condensation in there. Um, we've got things like cheese and stuff like that. Let's cut those in half and give everybody a half, each kid, because, um, those are our deer sticks. Yeah, so I am gonna go and go to the grocery store after I feed this baby and load up on some groceries and I'm gonna share with you guys the grocery haul. I just kinda wanted to give you an update on how we left this house in a hurry, not clean. <clears throat> I'm not even gonna lie, I am absolutely exhausted. Exhausted. Uh, last night I probably got three hours of sleep and the whole trip just hasn't been good for sleeping at all for me. Um, simply because I'm still nursing a baby. We were in a different house than we're, we're used to. Um, the kids would kind of wake and stir throughout the night and I could hear everything that was going on. So I just didn't sleep very good on the trip and then um, got home this afternoon after traveling all day yesterday and then got in the car to come to the grocery store and I am so wiped out. I am so jet lagged. Ugh. I told my husband, we just FaceTime a minute ago, and I said, I'm probably just gonna close my eyes for a few minutes in the parking lot because on the way to the store, I really feel like I am going to fall asleep. It's been a long time since I felt like this, but I really feel like I could just fall asleep right now. And I don't even think coffee will help. Last night on the plane, I drank a coffee and it did not keep me awake. I felt like I was like in and out of sleep on the plane. So tonight I'm gonna sleep solid as a rock in my own bed with my fan on and my special neck pillow. I've had like the worst kink in my neck and it reminds me of those reels on Instagram when they're like, I have this thing in my neck. So anyways, that's what I feel like. And I have this pain in my knee. There's something wrong with my eyes. I'm so tired. My shoulder. Oh my goodness, I was wrestling a badger on the plane. If you've ever taken a 10 month old on a plane without a car seat, then you know it's like wrestling a badger. I mean, he's 25 pounds, spinning in my arms, throwing himself back, arching his back and planking so that he can be put down and just, we had a stranger sitting beside us and it was a long day of travel because he was my lap baby. I didn't even have like a separate seat for him. He was on my lap for all the flights and we had three flights because we bought the cheapest tickets on the planet. Anyways, I'm gonna take you guys in here for a grocery haul. I'm only gonna get a small one of these because I never, you know, spinach always goes bad. So we'll see if I even use that up. have going right now. I think the cheese is a great time of day. Uh, we grab some strawberries too. Russet potatoes are $3.49 for this uh, 48 ounce bag. Is any 
vlogging in the store, um, as you can tell, but I am going to get all these groceries home. Who, who did this? Was it me? Okay, hey, don't step on the back. Oh, thank you for petting him like a dog. That makes him feel good. Okay, so I'm back from the store and I've got a grocery haul. It's a bunch of food and at the end of this, I'm gonna tell you how much we spent. We just got back from our trip. So everything's crazy and the baby's destroying the kitchen as usual. So I'm still exhausted, but I'm gonna get through this grocery haul and it's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we're doing a full reset. We're gonna get back down to ground zero and we're gonna get healthy again because we ate lots of pizza and all kinds of fast food, like Chick-fil-A, things that we don't really have around here. So we grabbed a ton of fruits and veggies and I've got a stock of celery to use in all my soups and stews. Uh, the kids like these pickles, they're quick and easy snacks. So I just buy the great big gigantic 46 ounces of them and we eat them pretty quickly, they're delicious. But we also get these cucumber pickles back here that we cut up and put apple cider vinegar on. Okay, we've got some mushrooms. I'll probably use those in omelets. Some tomatoes we're probably gonna make some salsa with. We can just use some tomatoes with these. Uh, those are onions. Yes, they are. So we're gonna use onions and tomatoes and make a salsa for some tortilla chips that we got. The kids have been liking broccoli dipped in ranch. So I got some things to make some homemade ranch with. So we're gonna do that. We always go through bananas and when we don't go through bananas, we use them frozen in smoothies. So I, every time I go to the store and I buy bananas, I buy the two largest clusters that I can find and they're usually eight. So a lot of times they'll have six, seven or eight bananas per cluster of bananas. So I always try to get 16 bananas. We have four kids, so that gives them each enough to have four bananas if they want. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> we have five kids and I need to find the clusters of 10 bananas. Where, where are those at? Because I have never found a cluster of 10 bananas at any store some grapes and everything's wrapped in plastic I, like almost everything here came in plastic and that's driving me nuts that i can't find food that's not wrapped in plastic i uh, grabbed some of these for the baby trust me there was a rhyme and a reason to this grocery haul but then i ran out of room so now i'm just going through and showing you everything and it's just kind of clustered in there okay these were on sale so i grabbed one two three different ones and then some baby spinach down here and i'm going to use that spinach i got the small one because i told you guys in the store if i got the big one the spinach would wilt before i use it but i'm going to be 
very good about using all of these greens this week. And, you know, if I don't use them, I can steam them and freeze them, or I can throw them in an omelet in the morning. I think I'll just mix them all up with my eggs, and then that will be good. Over here, we've got our potatoes. Potatoes, I'm a potato. That's what I feel like. So we've got three pounds of potatoes. And these were the only onions that they had at the store. So Peruvian gold, they had purple ones too, but we don't use the purple ones because they make the food look gray when we cook them, um, unless we're gonna use them raw in salads, but I didn't need purple onions. So I just grabbed these for cooking our soups and stews. We got these baby carrots. I normally don't get baby carrots. I got some in Virginia and the kids enjoyed them. And then they were also, we got a musician over here. The kids play those drums. Um, he's vlogging with me. So these are easy just to toss into the elk stew or the beef stew or whatever stew we're gonna make. The kids love oranges, and these will be gone probably like in the next day or two. And then we bought five large avocados, and I showed you guys the price when I was shopping in the store. I think it was like $7, $7.99, something like that for five huge avocados. The price of groceries have just gone through the roof. It's insane. We've got some blueberries. I got the big pack, 18 ounces, and a big pack of strawberries, 32 ounces of those. We grabbed some lettuce. We can make some taco salad this week. And along with the lettuce for our taco salad, we grabbed the tortilla chips. So that's what we're gonna use the tomatoes for. Make some salsa, have some tortilla chips with ground beef or ground elk or ground deer. We have choices. We have choices in this house. That's why there's no meat in this grocery haul because our freezers are full of meat and we don't need to get it that much. I grab myself some easy lunches. Actually, I take that back. I usually end up eating these at night right before bed because I'm nursing mom starving all the time. And I'm so busy that I don't take time to eat enough during the day. So when the house is quiet, I will eat one of these at night on occasion. So I like to have some quick and easy frozen meals for myself if we run out of dinner, if we don't have leftovers or whatever. That makes it easy for me to get some extra calories in. Uh, I think we got um, six pounds of apples here, six pounds of organic apples. We have almond milk, and I feel like I'm missing an almond milk. Did we have a vanilla almond milk? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Oh, so I must have put it back down on the floor. Silly me. So we've got is it okay? <laughs> three things of milk, and we buy cow's milk from a yeah. farm, and so... Uh, I'm gonna put that one up there. We buy the cow's milk from the farm, and that was yesterday, but we weren't here yesterday. That's my day to pick up cow's milk. So I will get some next week just to make life easier. I grabbed the kids a gallon of whole milk. I'm not really sure what they're gonna use this for, granola probably, and then we'll use it in some cooking. Uh, one of my kids prefers almond milk over cow milk, so he drinks almond milk, and then we use almond milk for some cooking, my coffee, and smoothies, things like that. I was happy that the store had a few good things on sale. So this sour cream is normally $2.29, but I got this for 99 cents. So I grabbed three of them. They do expire in early February, but I figure I can freeze these or um, use them up for ranch. We're eating sour cream every day, so we can probably go through these pretty quickly. Wanted to get us some kefir. We've got to restore some gut bacteria after this trip and eating all kinds of yummy pizza and goodies. So we're gonna have some kefir. I'm planning on ordering from Azure Standard some kefir grains. I mean, it's gonna be water kefir grains, not milk kefir grains. Um, I might do some milk kefir down the road, but I prefer water kefir. So today we got milk kefir and this low-fat yogurt, it was also on sale, $1.39 down from $2.79. So I grabbed that. We're going to use that to make ranch dressing. Um, and then for the ranch dressing, I got some seasoning packets just to make it easy on us. And it says to use mayonnaise, but I'm going to use the low-fat yogurt because I think that's going to be healthier than the oil that's in mayonnaise that we are trying to get rid of in our diet. We don't want to eat 
store-bought mayonnaise anymore. Um, we can make homemade mayonnaise with fresh eggs, but we're not going to be doing store-bought mayonnaise. It's just not good for us. So all those seed oils and yuckiness that they put in there. We got 10 of these chorizo spice blends. They were on sale for 49 cents each, down from a dollar, so half off. So we grabbed 10 of those and we can use those for the beef that we got. We got half of a cow. Did we get half a cow or a full cow? Half a cow. I think we got half of a cow. That's how tired I am. I can't remember anything right now. <laughs> My brain is so fried. Um, so we got those and we can put this on pork or chicken or all kinds of different things. So that's gonna be yummy. That's gonna make quick, easy meals that I can throw into the crock pot, sprinkle that on top, and then let it cook all day and shred it up, put it on tacos or whatever. Aaron is on carnivore diet, so he eats mostly like animal products and then a few berries and some fruit, a few things like that, but mostly meat products. So he likes pepper jack cheese, so we got the huge block. They didn't have any pre-sliced, which is our preferred method because life is busy as two parents of five kids. And it's just nice to have the pre-sliced cheese. So I grabbed, this is what they had. This was expensive, $6.40 per, what is this, a pound? No, not even a pound. So expensive cheese, but we got that as well um, to go on sandwiches this week. Or if Aaron wants to have some cheese and meat that's easy for him, we've got a pound of beef and a pound of chicken breast. So those will go into the fridge for easy snack times and meals, whatever he needs that for, and the kids can have a sandwich at some point with that. Um, which, if you hear a humming noise in the background, that's my bread machine going. We are making bread for tomorrow. I'm gonna make that now before we go to bed. Uh, two packs of these flour tortillas because yum, why not? I'm not making them from scratch yet, but eventually I'll get to it, probably when the baby's a little bit bigger and less dependent on me. I'll start another scratch project, but for easy nights, we just went ahead and bought two packs of the 10 count tortillas. Um, I also needed these uh, dishwasher balls or whatever those are. And then I grabbed some latex gloves because I get diastoric or dihistolic or something weird eczema on my hands from washing dishes. I have to wear rubber gloves, otherwise my skin blisters and peels off of my fingers and it's very, very painful and horrible. So if you suffer from that and your skin is peeling and cracking on your hands, don't wash your hands as much in hot water especially and wear gloves anytime that you are gonna be washing dishes or anything. Um, I just try to avoid getting my hands in hot water because when I put my hands in hot water, they get terrible and they're finally healed up a little bit. They're finally healed up. So just trying to keep the rubber gloves around so that I can keep my hands safe. You guys, I didn't even go over everything that I got. I finished this up and anyways, I'm gonna insert this here right now. So we got 18 times three eggs and then we got five dozen large white eggs. These are the cage-free organic eggs and we like to just fry those up and then these we like to boil and have a bunch of boiled eggs in the fridge. Um, but yeah, these are really delicious, just fried up in the pan like that. I also got these uh, mini rice cakes oh for God. the baby or for the little kids, like Annika and Bodie like to eat those. So we got them those. I did not show you guys the pork rinds. My husband's carnivore diet, uh, he can eat animal products. So the pork rinds are part of his carnivore diet. And the kids actually had one bag already with Aaron, the queso ones. And then what are these things, the okra? Uh, yeah. Okra, uh, I heard recently, um, we all know that okra is good for you, but um, I heard that it was really, really, really good for women and women's reproductive system. So get yourself some okra, ladies. All right, all right, this is my grocery haul, I spent, $298.89 on this grocery haul, which is really funny because I was um, texting my husband in the line. I knew that it was going to be over $300 and it was, but I used so many, uh, what are they called? Internet coupons? I used the app. 
and I had a ton of coupons on my app and I saved over $50. So with the $50 that I saved, I bought a duvet cover. Let me show you. Tell them about the 50 pound thing. What 50 pound thing? Oh yeah, I was telling the lady at the grocery store about that. So I got a chambray um, duvet cover for our King duvet. Uh oh, let me make sure this says King. Yes, it is King. Um, and then I was telling the lady at the grocery store, and I'll tell you guys too, because this is crazy. On our flight back from Virginia, there's a $50, no, sorry. There is a 50 pound limit, weight limit for your luggage. And our bags can hold a lot of weight. They're very big motocross gear bags that we use as our travel luggage. And somehow we managed to get both bags. We didn't weigh them. We didn't have access to a he does, he does this. He does this every single grocery haul. He's just excited about the 50 pound So when we went to put our luggage up, we were for sure that it was over 50 pounds and that we were gonna probably have to pay the overweight bag fee, whatever that is. Aaron throws the bag up on the scale, exactly 50 pounds. And I'm like, surely. 50.0. 50.0. He throws the next bag up on the scale. Same thing. Five zero point zero. <laughs> the dude could not believe it. He was, yeah, he was astonished. I'm the one who packed the bags and I, there was some kind of divine intervention in the packing process. I felt really at peace when I was packing the bags, but to have both of them weigh the exact same weight for seven people, we had seven people's stuff, shoes, clothes, hats, beanies, gloves, you name it, for winter weather. We had it in these two giant bags for two weeks of travel, five kids, and both bags weighed 50 pounds. It was just crazy. And then when I texted my husband, everything was going through and it was getting up to $300. It went way over $300, it was like 350, but I texted him halfway through the, the stuff going through and I said, it's going to be a $300 grocery haul. And then it went way over $300. But when she ran my card, all the coupons came off and it was $298.98. And I just thought that was really crazy. I actually managed to keep my grocery haul under $300. But I still feel like this much groceries for $300. And it's not like we bought a whole lot of crazy stuff, but we also got this in addition to all of that. And then the duvet cover. So the duvet cover was $50, but it was $12 off. I got that on a little bit of a sale too. Um, we've been needing one for our new bed. So yeah, that's what we got. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this whole really, really, really long grocery haul. And everything that I shared with you, you probably realize at this point that I'm gonna put away these groceries and go pass out because I'm tired. <laughs> like, follow, subscribe. That's right. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like, this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribe to my channel and we would love to have you guys here with us hanging out and watching our videos i love to share how we feed our family healthy with you so thank you so much for watching until next time bye